first responders really don't have the option of refusing a call, and sometimes they find themselves in more danger than what generated the emergency. We do go into scenes where we don't always have the opportunity to retreat. Steve Cox, legislative liaison for the Maryland State Firemen's Association, has been assaulted numerous times. This includes having a gun pointed at his head. You don't know what it feels like when you're called to an uncertain situation. The police say the situation's safe. You go in, you're treating the patient only to have someone walk in with a 30-30 rifle pointed at your head and say, get out of my house. Records of assaults on first responders are virtually non-existent. There's no category for it, and they're usually not reported to police. A 2003 and 09 study found that EMS fatality rates are seven times higher than for other health care workers. If an EMT has been at work for 10 years, there's a 61% chance that they were assaulted and a 25% chance that they suffered an injury and sought medical care from it. Penalties. Freshman Baltimore County Delegate Dr. J. Jalisi is pursuing legislation that makes assaulting a first responder a felony that carries a 10-year prison sentence. Delegate Dr. Jalisi believes the stiff penalty will be a deterrent and he wants first responders to know the public has their back. It is for those people especially who do not have a choice and cannot walk away in, even in bad situations. The legislation has broad and bipartisan support. These first responders are frequently in danger, not only from the situation, but occasionally from distraught people who are on the scene. It is clear in those situations that the first responders are doing what they are supposed to do, and that's to take care of people. And for payment, sometimes they are abused. The bill has support from the State Firemen's Association, the Maryland Department of Transportation, and MIMS. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.